You really think the old man is going to be there? Why would they invite us? Well, all division heads are bringing their uh, support teams. It's big. Hmm. I figure they're greenlighting Delta City. What are you kidding? They never do anything ahead of schedule. It's Jones. He's got the 209 series online, and now he wants to show off. Oh, that's a, that's a tough break, but... What? 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 Well, ED-209 ran into a series delays and cost overruns. The old man ordered a backup plan. 95th floor. Have a nice Probably day. just to light a fire under Jones' ass. Yeah? Oh, Bob here gets the assignment. Uh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody in security concepts takes this seriously. It's a better plan. Fucking Jones. I'd go straight to the old man if I could. Don't mess with Jones, man. He'll make sushi out of it. Yeah, you better be careful, man. I hear Jones is a real shark. Who asked you, Torb? Bob. What about this police thing? What's the problem? Their union's been bitching ever since we took over. You know, the usual nonsense. We'll turn things around. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Let's get started. <coughs> Our friends? I've had this dream for more than a decade now. A dream which I've invited you all to share with me. In six months, we begin construction of Delta City, where old Detroit now stands. Old Detroit has a cancer. The cancer is crime. And it must be cut out before we employ the two million workers that will breathe life into this city again. Yes. All those shifts in the tax structure have created an economy ideal for corporate growth. Community services, in this case law enforcement, have suffered. I think it's time we gave something back. <laughs> Take a close look at the track record of this company, and you'll see that we have gambled in markets traditionally regarded as non-profit. Hospitals, prisons, space exploration. I say good business is where you find it. As you know, we've entered into a contract with the city to run local law enforcement. But at Security Concepts, we believe an efficient police force is only part of the solution. No, we need something more. We need a 24-hour-a-day police officer, a cop who doesn't need to eat or sleep, a cop with superior firepower and the reflexes to use it. Fellow executives, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the future of law enforcement. Ed, 209. <laughs> The enforcement droid, Series 209, is a self-sufficient law enforcement robot. 209 is currently programmed for urban pacification, but that is only the beginning. After a successful tour of duty in old Detroit, we can expect 209 to become the hot military product for the next decade. Dr. McNamara. We'll need an arrest subject. Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Would you come up and give us a hand, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Kenny is going to help us simulate a typical arrest and disarming procedure. Mr. Kenny, use your gun in a threatening manner. <laughs> Point it at Ed 209. Yes, sir. Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. You now have 15 seconds to comply. 
You are in direct Cut violation of Penal Code 113, Section 9. You now have five seconds to comply. setback. You call this a glitch? We're scheduled to begin construction in six months. Your temporary setback could cost us $50 million in interest payments alone. Not necessarily, sir. Perhaps you're aware of the RoboCop program developed by myself at Security Concepts as a contingency against just this sort of thing? Thank you for your concern, Mr. Morton. I'm sure this is something now, we can take up in my office at a Dick! moment. Maybe what we need here is a fresh perspective. Tell me about your plan, Mr. Morton. How long will it take? We're ready to go, sir. We've restructured the police department and placed prime candidates according to risk factor. I'm confident that we can go to prototype within 90 days. Good, very good. Get your staff together, Mr. Morton. I'll expect a full presentation in 20 minutes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> 